Hey guys, here's JNM with a new Blender 2.8 video for beginners. I'll show you how to create a simple PBR material with procedural textures and bump mapping. We start here in Blender 2.81 with my favorite object, sorry, the default cube and I enable my screencast keys add-on so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. First I go to edit mode and add a small bevel. So I press Ctrl and B and then I move the mouse wheel slightly to add just one more segment. Then I right click and set the shading to smooth. Ok, then I set the viewport shading to material preview. Bring in a bit more of the background and enable the scene lights. And then I go to the viewport overlays and disable some things that we don't need. For example, the floor, the axes, the 3D cursor and the origins. I just want to see the material, the substance. So I disable these displays. Ok, now I drag out a new window. And this will be for the shader editor. So select it here, shader editor. And here you can see the default material for the cube. It has a principal shader and it is connected to the surface input of the material. Ok, and now we start, really by adding a procedural texture node. A very simple one and this is a noise texture. So I press Shift and A and search for noise. Ok, here you can see the node. It has some properties like scale, detail or distortion. And now I want to map this to the whole object. And to do this I press Ctrl and T and I can do this because I have the Node Wrangler add-on installed. This add-on will add then the mapping and the texture coordinate node and you find this here under the preferences when you search for node and I have this Node Wrangler add-on activated. I recommend it, it's a great helper. I now drag the object output of the texture coordinate to the vector input of the mapping. Ok, still we don't see anything because it's not connected to the principal shader. And I add a bump node now to use this noise texture as a height information for the mesh. So I connect the color to the height input of the bump node and then the output of the bump node to the normal input of the shader. And here you can see the first result. It doesn't look that great but let's see. First I crank up the metallic of the principal shader to turn it into a pure metallic material. And now I add a magic that is called a color ramp. Again, I press Shift and A and add a new node. I search for color ramp and add this between the noise texture and the bump node. And now I can play around with the sliders for white and black. And with this I can increase or decrease the amount of noise. So have a look at this when I decrease the white parts. I can reduce the amount of noise at the surface. And that's a great and flexible technique that is used a lot when you are designing materials. You can modify the properties of the noise texture node as well, for example the scale or the detail. I recommend to play around with these settings and to combine it with different nodes for your materials. Ok, this looks pretty cool already, but what I also want to do is to manipulate the roughness of the principal shader. But first let me explain what the roughness of a material is. The roughness of a shader defines the sharpness of the reflection of the light. And it goes from 0, which means perfectly sharp, to 1, which is very soft. But what I want to do now is to use this noise texture as an input for the shader's roughness. But I want to control this, so I duplicate this color ramp node. Again, connect it to the noise texture. And this output I connect to the roughness input of the principal shader. And now look at this, what happens. It's very interesting and a great effect when you do this for the first time. And it's so simple, you modify the reflection, the roughness for the shader, by controlling the black and white parts of the noise texture 
that is connected to the roughness input of the principal shader. This is very basic information, but it's a basic tutorial for beginners. Ok guys, so what I recommend is to create a project like this, with a cube or a different object, and create a shader, play around with the settings, with the parameters for the color ramp and the noise texture, just to get a feeling for the effects of these parameters. You will see it's fun and you will learn a lot of new things. Ok guys, that's it. I hope you like this kind of tutorials. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe. I will upload the blend file to my Patreon account so that you can play around with the project. If you want me to create more of this kind of tutorials, let me know. And if you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. If you'd like to support me, then be my Patreon, because this really helps me creating my tutorials. Thanks for this guys, thanks for watching and I see you on JNM.